how to be in a relationship with someone below, uh, uh, I, I, I call that below integrity. Yeah, uh, so for people who aren't familiar with Hawkins, below integrity. If I'm in a relationship with someone, it's actually a, it's a very good question because sometimes people get married or sometimes there is very strong can, me, ne necessity to be with somebody. There can be, I'm going to use some funny language, karmic contracts where for some reason you have to stick around people who are below the level of integrity. And uh, so if for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason you're with somebody and you feel you must stay with them on a spiritual level, like even if this person is quite negative on a consistent basis or you know, has a donut addiction and is not stopping their donut addiction, you're having to watch their donut addiction every day. And you go, it'd be nicer to live with somebody without a donut addiction. But I feel grace and God is saying that I, I must stay with this person forever while they carry on with their donut addiction and their TV addiction and their Facebook addiction and whatever else is going on with them. Then, uh, if that feels like an intuitive grace, then I would transcend them. I would, I would just transcend them. And uh, that would be uh, possibly the Holy Spirit's um, assignment for you, for that person in your life. Very much happens with family. Could happen. I think, I think with romantic partners, if that happens, that happens. I think uh, with my work, uh, with people doing spiritual work, sometimes when one person is doing a lot of spiritual work and the other person is not doing any spiritual work, so one person is rising in their consciousness while the other stays the same. A lot of those relationships break up because uh, it's like, you know, when you met, like let's say at a certain level of consciousness, gossiping is great. Gossiping and donut addictions and drinking lots of alcohol in the pub the whole day. You both have the same vibration. And it's like, let's have some donuts, let's have some alcohol, and let's gossip about how everyone is bad in the office and you're sort of at the same level and you enjoy each other. You know, like let's gossip some more and have some more donuts together and have a few more <laughs> bottles of vodka. So that's <laughs> how you sort of connect and you're actually enjoying each other's company at that vibration. But if suddenly one person says, I'm going to pursue spiritual work with, with, with ferocity, and the other person says, I'm going to carry on with my donuts and my alcohol and my <laughs> gossiping. So after, after a year, you've stopped your alcohol, you've stopped your gossiping, you stopped your donut addiction and they're carrying on and they don't want to do any spiritual work so you just have to transcend it you know so one of the, actually the mystical can happen you know if it's a spiritual assignment sometimes they go above integrity it's like you're doing all this work you're not going to say anything they're going to have an extra 10 donuts they're going to go on ha have a go and buy 10 lottery tickets and they're going to tell you how your family is awful and you're transcending it so sometimes they raise in consciousness by you doing the inner work. So as you do the inner work, um, they, 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 they rise up. Um, and so it becomes a harmonious relationship. Or sometimes they stay at that level of consciousness and it doesn't bug you any longer. So it's like every day they're having donuts. Every day they're watching I don't know, what, what, they, what would they watch on TV? That's very eager. I don't know. I don't know. They're watching horror movies. Yeah, horror, that, movie. horror movies. Okay. So they're watching, uh, I don't know what's a good horror movie. Anyway, they're watching the latest horror movie installment. The latest one is oh. Annabelle. I can tell you Annabelle. I know. Okay. Yeah. So they've got like Annabelle and the next 10 episodes for this yeah. evening, plus a ton of donuts. So he goes, let's enjoy, <laughs> let's enjoy a lovely evening together. So, so you're sort of going, okay, you're going to the observer and you're, you're forgiving them, you're forgiving the environment and you transcend it, you don't notice it and you live happily ever after. So that's possible as well. So you've transcended horror movies, you've transcended donut addiction, you've transcended gossiping and you still, and they're still, and it doesn't hook you. So that's a possibility. The other possibility is sometimes when... I, you know, I did, it took me five years of transcendence work with my mother, and we had a beautiful time. You know, she stopped saying all those triggers. It was what I experienced is as I transcended the things in her that triggered me, and I stayed in that transcendent place, she stopped doing them. It took five years, so it was like, um, I'll give you an example. 
she loved talking about politics. She loved talking about politics. And she knew I didn't agree with her politic, political views. And she had the news on nonstop. You know, so if I had to sit with her, there was the news, and she knew I didn't like certain political opinions. So I'd sit in there. I won't, I won't take too long. I can give another video if people are interested in how to transcend your mother or a partner. Uh, uh, I'll put that in. But, so it was like, okay, I have to transcend this. I'm not going not to leave my mother. Uh, so, and so, you know, I did, I did so many different techniques, like not picking up the bait, going to the reserve, in the beginning it's huge feelings would say. She would try and hook me into these arguments mm -hmm. and keep prodding me to m get a comment out of me so I'd have to go and sit with the feelings, come back, reground. And then after five years she stopped, uh, she stopped making those comments. And then we had a beautiful time together. With all the, tra all the triggers she stopped doing them. But there was a period of testing. There was definitely a period of testing to make sh see if, she, if I was still hookable. And then she stopped them after a while, and I had a great time. So miracles are possible. But sometimes with certain relationships, people leave as well, intuitively to get the guidance that, OK, I've transcended the horror movies, I've transcended the donut addiction. <laughs> and, but it feels like with love, it's the right thing to do now to, to let that go. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, if the calling is to stay, then transcend. Mm -hmm. and, and keep and pray for a miracle, pray for place in you know, they do things which annoy you, they watch horror movies I place John's horror movie addiction into God's infinite light and love and I pray for a miracle. I go to the observer of the one in me who gets hooked hooked into people being murdered on TV every day, you see, go to the observer of that. So, you know, if if a feeling comes up every time they have an extra donut, then sit with that feeling until there's no feelings left. Um, canceling beliefs, you know, which is what Hawkins taught me. Like, I cancel my aversion to horror movies. I'm an infinite being subject unto one. So go to the infinite until you don't hook into horror movies, you don't notice them. What, what you don't hook into, you don't experience. If you go to the observer of time, time does not exist for you. If you transcend, let's say horror movies, if you go to keep going to the observer of horror movies, until you no longer can identify with the horror movie going on, it will not exist for you. So there'll be no horror movie going on in the room once you go into the infinite observer. So you can actually transcend things. Quite often I found that when you transcend something that irritates you in the person, often it stops miraculously. Or, um, like I was helping, I was helping um, someone with spiritual work, spiritually helping them in a, in a group I attend, and they ha were living with someone who annoyed the hell out of them. And, but they couldn't move because they didn't have enough money to move. So I told them to do the transcendence work on this irritating person they had to live with. And then the day they felt like they had transcended the person, they got an offer to move to another place, which was much better. And, uh, and they were, it's like the universe upgraded them. You know, like here's a place for the same money, which is luxurious, without that person, and they had an idyllic time. So it's either they, often the person gets moved out, or you get moved out, or something happens. So there's an upgrade when you fully release what, it, what is troubling you in the world. That's been my experience and experience with, with, with others. So, um, yeah, so th those things, I think, tend to happen.